Hi there. In the last two videos, I showed you how to use MapInfo and ArcGIS Pro to get hold of the area of a polygon or polygons and store that value in your table, your MapInfo.tab or your shapefile. And what I wanted to show here was QGIS open source uh, Pi 314. I wanted to show the very same thing being done here using the field calculator. There's there's a few ways of doing this actually, but I'm just I'm going to go straight to the field calculator because uh, it's a very powerful tool, and I think you can use it for lots and lots of other things. So, and I also wanted to cover off just a bit about virtual fields as well. So let's get straight down to it. We right hand mouse click uh, first of all. Let's look at properties and just go to the fields. And you'll see I've just got this one ID field. That's all I've got. So I'm going to go to open attribute table, which is the right hand mouse click on the layer. And here you can see the attribute table. And as expected, there's just three um, here. As I click on um, each one, I get one, two, and three. And let's just bring that back up again. And uh, so it's definitely just three. That, that's that's all. That's all that all is here. Um, all the data that's here. And when I click on each one, you can see. So what I want to do is have another field here, which has the area of each one of these, and then I can go off and do other stuff like sum them up, etc. But I just want to get hold of the area value. So the way to do that is with the field calculator, and that's that little abacus sort of icon. What it will say here um, when you go into the field calculator for any of these uh, expressions and any of these functions that you want to use is, well, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to create a new field or are you adding some kind of dynamic one? So that's, that's the key thing to think about at this stage. I'm, I'm going to be using a virtual field, which is this button here. Note, by the way, at the top, it did have, um, you can update just the selected feature. But I, I want to update the whole thing, so I'm going to so I'm going to add a field to this table, but only a virtual field. It is not going to write to the file itself, but it will write to the project file. So output field name my calc area. Let's just make it uh, where is it decimal, and um, and what what kind of value we're going to put into it? Well, if you look down here in this list of expressions, you can see geometry. You can see area there, which you may jump straight away, but that's to calculate some values you've already got. So for example, you've got some well-known text that defines a polygon. So you might want to work out the area of that. Whereas this dollar sign is going direct to the geometry in the layer itself, the object. So that, that means the area in that geometry itself that already exists in the layer. Um, so that's, what, that's all we need to do. So it's a virtual field. Um, Again, another thing to note, we could have updated an existing field here, here but uh, we don't have any existing fields to update. So, so there's a few things to do there, but we're, we're just putting this virtual field straight in. So let's press OK. And there you go. So there's the, the value. These, these are big areas, by the way, um, on the back of this, on top of this Orbis um, mapping, which looks really good um, with all that elevation information. But um, so th these are big areas, there's meters. Um, so off you go. So what's happened here? Well, let's just go back into, um, uh, I just clicked on the map to get rid of the attribute table. Let's go, go to properties and go to fields. So you see now in fields, what it's done is added this virtual field called my calc area. Um, and in the comment, it's put that, by the way, this is an expression. That's why it's got this expression um, symbol there when I click on it it'll bring it up and tell you what I do and I, and I can update it I can I can do stuff there so how how usable is it well it is a real value in the project so when I click on symbology I could say well let's just uh, categorize using my calc area ie the virtual value put the classification through there's only three values and stuff so there's a different color for each one um, so there you go. So I can use thematics and I can do lots of other stuff. The, the key thing to do is to recall is when I press save project on this, it will record everything here to the project file. 
Um, and the project file itself is saying, by the way, add this value to QGIS polygons 4326. Add the value to that virtual field to this layer. This shape file itself, which exists on my disk, will not have the um, virtual field attached to it. It, it. it won't be there. It only exists in the world of this project. But you can right hand click, export and do save features as, and in which case it will write out that virtual field as a actual field in your shapefile. So it's, it's your choice whether it's sort of project level, your, your data, do you want to change the uh, shapefile um, for the work you're doing? Is that okay? Um, you might have a knock on effect there, um, or do you just want to keep something for yourself in your own world of your own project? So that's the sort of decision you make. But anyway, so that's field calculator, very powerful, very useful. And um, there are lots of other options on there. Let's just bring up the uh, attribute table again. So uh, let's bring up the abacus. When you click on geometry, it's not just area there. Um, but there's all kinds of, uh, there's perimeter there. Um, you, you can bring the X and Y's, maximum mins, all the extents, just everything really. It's, uh, it's uh, very good, um, very powerful. Anyway, that's it. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.